Hey, this video is for Piggy because he's pretty much the only person I make YouTube videos for anymore. He, I guess, encompasses most of my life and so this is probably mostly dedicated to him. What you see here is a bunch of AI running on the headless client, uh, 800 in total. We've got, uh, there's a marker or an icon over each one showing that they've synced. So when it's blue, they have synced to the headless client. When it's yellow, they have not. Uh, we got some straggler here. I don't know how they got in there, but anyway. So they're all synced up now. I'm getting a crappy frame rate. I'm going to turn this thing off in a second where it stops showing the icon over the top of each one. You'll notice the frame rate like massively spikes up. Um, so this would be 800 AI running at about 35 frames a second, I think, somewhere in that range. 40 sometimes. Depends on where you look. If you're not looking straight at them. There you go. I turned the, the debug off. You'll notice it instantly gets smoother. Um, this is this is cool because this is 800 and I made a mistake and I believe one of the headless clients wasn't loading AI at all. So it's technically 800 on three headless clients which means it's like uh, 250, 260, 275 per headless client, something like that. Um, so I guess what this means is we can do about 200 reliably per headless client and it's looking like four, maybe five headless clients total is what gets us a smooth, smooth game um, once they've all synced. So anyway, let me jump forward in the video and I'll, we'll go through, we'll, we can show you some of the views from that. But you can see my frame rate has, you know, somewhat gone up since then. I got 44 down. Yeah. So here I'm pretty much uh, adding all these AI to Zeus, which uh, would actually be done from the editor. So the basic gist of this is we would place the AI down, right? We would put all these in there beforehand. Someone would log into the server and sit there for 10 minutes while everything gets transferred and load balanced. Then the guys would jump in. That way nobody has to sit there through you know 10 frames a second and all that stuff while it's sitting there doing all that crap. It wouldn't be that bad, but you know that way no one's got super low frame rate trying to get their gear on and stuff while this is all getting set up. So anyway, um, I added them all to Zeus and gave them some waypoints. And so this is them running around. Um, this is still 800 at this point. In a minute, I'm going to clip a bunch of them off and uh, drop it down to about 400 just to kind of test what's reasonable. But you can see I'm getting, you know, a decent uh, you know, reasonable server FPS, reasonable frames per second. Um, and this is no, I mean, this is literally just me firing up the headless clients, plopping in a mission and, uh, you know, Use copying and pasting 800 AI soldiers, uh, groups of synced soldiers, actually. Um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to pop open half of these guys. So I'm going to highlight about half of them and delete them which I don't know what the totals here were, so let's call that half, right? They're all running in that circle. Now watch what happens to the frames when I switch out of Zeus. I mean, we're back to completely playable. I'm at 45, 50, depending on where you look. Um, and yeah, there's some, I, I did some tests by plopping down some, some enemy AI, but the problem with that one is, they're not synced to the headless client when you pop them down at Zeus and it takes them a while. So if we wanted to do that, I'm gonna, and I'm going to do another test that shows that, uh, more of that like enemy versus enemy firing and see how that affects the server too. But I think we can get away with three to one, I guess is the moral of this story. So uh, here you go, that's the end of it.